Well, welcome back to GIS Analysis at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. This week we're going to work with network analysis. And a network is connected lines, and we could do several types of analysis with connected lines. Typically it's going to be a street network. Since it's an extension, you're always going to have to have that extension checked on. So if you go to the Customize menu in ArcMap, go to extensions and make sure that you have network analysts checked on. And then secondly, our network data set is going to be in a geodatabase feature data set. So when you download the data for this week, you'll have three different feature data sets that we're going to work with. So one type of network analysis is called new route problem solving. So a new route could be the quickest path along a linear network to go from point A to point B. And that might be if we have the speed limit for every road and we want to travel from A to B driving the speed limit, what's the quickest path? Or it could be the shortest path from A to B. So for example, we might want to walk from point A to B and we want to minimize our walking distance. Route in terms of network is different than the route in linear measures where a route in linear measures was simply a measured line. Here a route is basically either the quickest path or the shortest path to get from point A to point B. Another type of problem in network analysis is called the closest facility problem. It's sort of a multiple new route problem where we have more than one route. So in this example we might have fire stations and we've got three fires going on in the city and we want to respond to each fire with either the quickest path to get from a fire station to the fire event or the shortest path to get from fire stations to the events. So this is called the closest facilities problem. Another network analysis problem is termed the service network or service areas. So they would be all the lines within a certain threshold cost to some resource center. So for example, here we have Philadelphia and Chicago, and this area in green might be all the roads that are within a hour drive of Philadelphia. Here are all the roads within an hour drive of Chicago. And then from all these roads, we can generate polygons. So this is a service area representing the area that's within an hour's drive of Chicago. Here the green polygon is a service area representing all the area you can drive from this service center in Philadelphia. So we've got service network, which is our lines, and service area are created from our service network. Another type of network analysis problem is the origin destination matrix. So here we've got multiple origins and multiple destinations. And for each origin and destination, what is the least cost path? So for example, here we've got Detroit. If we want to drive from Detroit to get to Milwaukee, how long would it take taking the shortest route? So it would be 413 minutes. And if we want to drive from Detroit to Indianapolis, it would take 341 minutes. If we want to drive from Detroit to Pittsburgh, we take the minimum route and that 332 minutes would be to get from Detroit to Pittsburgh in this example. So even though these are straight lines, the cost represents the minimum driving time to get from each location. Another type of network analysis problem is location allocation. So find the best set of facilities to service the most demand. So for example, we might say, okay, we've got fire stations in this city. Find the six fire stations that will service the most addresses. So these were the six fire stations that could service the most addresses in the city. The typical sequence will be we've got our lines representing our connected lines of networks. So for every line, we'd have to calculate what's the cost to travel each line. So that might be the cost in terms of distance. So for example, kilometers walked or miles driven, 
or the cost in terms of time. So how many hours does it take to walk each line or how many minutes does it take to drive each line, et cetera. So once we calculate the costs, then we've got our cost to travel of each line. Then we build a network data set in our feature data set. So basically we right mouse click on our feature data set and then select new and then select new network data set. So in the next video session, we'll start with basically doing what we're going to do in lab this week. We'll make a new route. What's the quickest path to get from point A to point B and what's the shortest path to get from point A to point B.